Hello, it's so good to see you. Welcome to my sing-along. My name is Miss Morgan. Today's sing-along is called Week 2 in Review. We'll learn more about what the review is all about in a minute. But let's sing a song, shall we? All right, let me turn off the birdies. Bye-bye, birdies. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the tree. There's so much to learn, so much to see. Come, friends, to the tree. Ready to sing with me? Let's do that again. Here we go. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the tree. There's so much to learn, so much to see. Come, friends, to the tree. Ready for the key change? Let's go a little higher. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the tree. There's so much to learn, so much to see. Come, friends, to the trees. But up, up, to the trees. But up, up, to the trees. Come, friends, walk. You were singing and I could hear you. I could hear you all the way in my home. Well, I'm so excited to review all the nature friends we learned about this week. You ready? All right. Do you have your nature journal? Here's my nature journal. Well, Monday, do you remember? We learned about the big, tall, strong oak tree. There's my oak tree. Do you remember what we learned about the oak tree? We learned about the acorns that fall from the oak tree. We learned all the animals that like to eat the acorn and other things from the oak tree. What were some of those animals? Deer, squirrels, chipmunks. They like the oak tree. They get their food from there. Rabbits, opossums, one of my favorite little animals. Raccoons. Those are some of the animals that need the oak tree. And we talked about the, how the oak tree is a very important nature friend. A nature friend called a keystone species. Do you remember that word, those words? Keystone species? Yeah, that's an important nature friend that helps a lot of other nature friends, just like the oak tree. There's my leaf that I tried to draw. That was my first try. <laughs> I didn't do very well on that one. So I tried again and I did a better job on that one. That's a white oak, remember? The white oaks have rounded edges. And then we talked about a different kind of oak tree called a red oak. I don't have the red oak leaf here, but I brought one in from the forest floor. It has pointy edges rather than round edges. So that's some of what we learned about the oak tree on Monday. How about Tuesday? What did we learn about on Tuesday? Oh, you remember. The opossum. There's my opossum. Isn't she cute? Remember? She's grayish. She has a long nose, long pointy nose, teeny little cute ears. Some might say the possum is kind of ugly. I think she's very cute. 
you might see a possum walking around if it's really late at night and you happen to be up. Because do you remember why? That's right, they're nocturnal. Say that, nocturnal. They like to be up at nighttime. They sleep during the day. Do you remember where they sleep? That's right. They sleep in little holes and logs, little holes and trees. They don't make their own holes. If a hole is empty after someone has been there, they kind of, they find a hole that doesn't have any nature friends in it anymore. And that's where they make their home. Is there anything else I, oh, I remember now. The opossum is a marsupial. Do you remember that word? Say that, marsupial, marsupial. Marsupials carry their babies on their bodies. <laughs> that's the opossum. Just like the big kangaroo. Choo, choo, choo. The kangaroo's a marsupial. We don't have kangaroos in Ohio where I am. So that was the opossum that we learned about on Tuesday. How about Wednesday? Wednesday, we learned about the daffodil, the pretty flower. You may have, have daffodils growing in your yard right now. Did you go out and look? Daffodils are a spring flower. When you see the daffodils, you know that winter is passing by, coming to an end, and spring has sprung. Spring is here. We talked about the daffodil having six petals. This one is a white daffodil with a yellow inside. Do you remember the first time I drew my daffodil? I drew 10 petals, and then I looked more closely, and I saw that daffodils have six petals. It made me realize that when you are studying nature friends, you have to look very, very closely because nature friends have lots of details, don't they? What else did I learn about the daffodil? There's lots of kinds of daffodils. Yep, we talked about the ones that are just yellow, the ones that have orange in the middle, ones that have white petals and yellow in the middle. And there's lots and lots of other kinds. Blooms in the spring. Oh, do you remember one of the reasons why the daffodil is important? Do you remember? It's food for insects and slugs. They eat parts of the daffodil. So it provides food for some of our nature friends. <laughs> like the oak tree does. The oak tree provides food for our nature friends. Okay, what, how about the next day? Let's see, on Thursday we learned about the, speaking of slugs, we learned about the slug, which is a fun word to say. Say it with me, slug. <laughs> there are my slugs. I drew two, two kinds of slugs. This top one is called a leopard slug. See his spots? And this one was called the gray garden slug. This big one can be as long as eight inches. That's the biggest slug in Ohio. I've never seen that kind of slug. But this slug is about an inch long, which is about like that. And that you might find, do you remember where? What do they like? Where do they live? That's right, under moist rocks, or maybe under moist tree bark. Or if you have a planter out on your deck, well, you might just have a slug hiding under there too. They like it to be moist. What else did I learn about the slug? Oh, I learned something about the slug that makes the slug very important. Do you remember? He's something called a decomposer. He helps make the soil have lots of vitamins. He's very important because when we have healthy soil, we have healthy trees, we have healthy food to eat because our food grows in the soil, doesn't it? So that's what we learned about the slug. 
<laughs> I learned a lot about the slug. I didn't know much about the slug. Well, yesterday we learned about someone else called the sloth. Another for, fun word to say, the sloth. We went to a place called Argentina, far, far away. We do not have sloths in Ohio, do we? This sloth, sloths live in Argentina and other countries far, far away down south. Do you remember where he lives in Argentina and the other countries around there? Something that starts with rain. The rain forest, right, the rainforest. The sloth lives in the beautiful, big rainforest. Do you remember what a rainforest is? A rainforest is a huge forest with really tall trees. And it's very, very important to everyone around the world. And the sloth lives in the trees of the rainforest. And so do you remember what the sloth eats? Yep, leaves and twigs. And look how he's hanging upside down because that's how he spends most of his time, hanging upside down. He even sleeps upside down. He has such long claws, three claws. And he hangs upside down with his claws, puts them on the branch, and hangs and falls asleep. He spends most of the day sleeping. Isn't that amazing? Where is he again? There he is. And there was something else very special about the sloth. Do you remember how his color was a little green? Do you remember why? He was a little green because he moves so slowly that a little plant grows on him called algae. And little animals live on his fur and eat that algae. Do you remember what kinds of little animals? I wrote it down here somewhere. Where did I write it? Oh, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, here we go. Little moths, little beetles, cockroaches, and worms. You could say the sloth has a little nature world on his back because he really does. Another word for that is a little ecosystem. He has a little ecosystem or a little nature world on his back. So the sloth is very special too, as are all our nature friends. Well, before I sing another song, I have one more page I wanted to show you that I worked on today. This is my page that I did for review. Do you see? I kind of drew again the nature friends from this week. Here's the oak tree. There's the opossum. See him right there? Uh, there's his nose. There's the daffodils. There's the slug. And there's a sloth hanging upside down. And do you know why I put them in the circle? I added somebody else in there. Oh, there I am with the guitar. There you are. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking of this as our nature world. And look, I have it all connected with a little band of yellow and orange. Because I was thinking today, the oak tree needs, the oak tree needs the slug. The oak tree needs a slug because the slug makes the soil healthy for the oak tree. The oak tree needs the daffodil. Do you know why? The oak tree needs the daffodil because the slug needs a daffodil. Remember, the daffodil is food for the slug. And the oak tree needs the sloth and the rainforest because the rainforest helps create rain all over the world. And the rainforest also helps to clean our air, which always helps trees. They help to clean our air, but they also 
like it when the air is clean. So the opossum, does the opossum need the slug? Yes, you remembered. The possum eats slugs, doesn't it? The possum needs the daffodil because the slug eats the daffodil. The opossum needs the sloth and the rainforest. And the opossum needs the oak tree, remember? Because he eats some of the acorns from the oak tree. See what I'm, see what I'm doing? The daffodil needs the slug because the slug makes her soil healthy. The daffodil needs the rainforest and the sloth. What does the slug need? The slug needs the sloth and the rainforest. The sloth needs the daffodil because that's what he eats, one of the things. The slug, let's see, I have that it needs the opossum. Hmm, why does the slug need the opossum? <laughs> I'll have to think about that. I wrote that. Hmm. You see what I'm getting at. And then I have us in there because we need all of our nature friends too. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're like a puzzle that fit together. It's called an ecosystem. It's our nature world. And if we're missing a piece, well, it just doesn't work as well, does it? I have one other way to show you. Remember I was talking about the coaster and how the coaster has all the pretty pieces of thread. That's kind of like our ecosystem. They're all important to make the coaster work right. But look what else I have. Let me see if I can do this for you. This is gonna be tricky. This is um, something I'm balancing. See that? That's like our nature world. I have pennies. Do you see? Balancing? That's how our nature world is. Pretend these pennies are nature friends. They're on there helping it balance. What will happen if I take off one of our nature friends? Can you guess? Let's see. Might make a loud noise, you ready? Oh, wow! No, that's right. That's one way to think about it. <laughs> so, let's sing another song. And let's remember that we all need our nature friends. Here's a song I wrote called Simply Living. It's kind of about, about that. Simply living, simply giving. Simply giving to the earth. Simply living, simply giving. Simply giving to the earth. Yeah! Take a step, take it lightly. Take a step so the earth can breathe. Take a step, take it lightly. Take a step so the earth can breathe. Use what you need, give back what you don't need. Use what you need, give back. Use what you need, get back what you don't need. Use what you need, get back. Simply living is simply giving. Simply giving to the earth. Simply live of your friends in the creeks and the streams. Think of your friends living under your feet. Ba -da 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 -da. Think of your friends in the tall, tall trees. 
That's right. Think of yourself and think of me. Take off a soul and step politely. Da 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 our last song. Remember to work on your nature journals. Work on your nature journals. Remember, go outside. Lots and lots today. It might be raining. If it's storming, you might need to stay inside. But if it's just raining, well, you could put on some boots and a raincoat and you can go play in the puddles. Well, that would be kind of fun because it's warm out, isn't it? And remember, too, that all of our nature friends are important and have a purpose. You're a nature friend, and I'm a nature friend, too, because we're all part of the nature world. So, shall we sing our last song? Remember, nature needs kids, and kids need nature. Nature needs kids, kids need nature, from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids, kids need nature, become the great student of this great teacher. Yeah. Open your eyes, open your ears, sit down in the middle of the forest here. Listen to the wind, birds and the trees, they got a great tale to tell you and me. Here we go! Nature needs kids, kids need nature, from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids, kids need nature, they're counting on us to be their protector. Oh, turn off the tube, turn off the games, Walk outside and make a difference today. Plant a new tree, clean up a stream, make the fishy snow nice and clean. That's right. From the great bear to the whales of the sea, the songbirds and the bumblebees, the tigers of the east, the rainforest too. You need them. Become the great student, become the great student of this great teacher. Yay! Thank you to Sarah for playing the shaker, the percussion. Woo! I could hear you singing. I could see you dancing. All right, friends. Have a good time getting outside today. And I'll see you not tomorrow. I'm not going to do a sing-along on Sunday. I think I'll take the day off, but I'll see you on Monday. Same time, same place, 2 o'clock. See you then. Be well.